there's no uh, way to save the building at this point. It was, it's, it's a hot building, it's about 350K in hazmat remediation, asbestos, and lead paint. So that alone is 350, and um, you know, to bring that building up to code would far surpass the monies it would take to level it and start anew. So really, you know, that was decided from a committee in 01 and in 08, and again, we're just reiterating it with our committee that there's really no financially sound way to save the existing building. So with that in mind, you know, we need a million dollars to make that building go away, start with a clean slate. Um, you know, we've been working for about a year on um, a proposed, been working with a company, um, Susan Holdley, Holdley Martinez Architects out of Cohasset. Susan and our committee came up with this design here. You know, we have, um, there's lots of drawings. Let me um, take this from the beginning here. This is, this is the existing site as it sits today. So here's the existing community center. Get your bearings straight. There's the bandstand, council on aging, the library, the playground. So this is what we're looking at today. And let's um, we'll go right to that one, Peter. Thank you, Pat. And this is, we can keep it right here so we can kind of see it. So this is the proposed structure. That's uh, I just want to look at that. We'll flip that one around. I mean, this is really, you know, that's the dream right there. That's a 40,000 square foot new facility. Pembroke Rec, Council on Aging. We have some lease space in it as well. This is just an initial design. It's really just kind of meant to be a talking point to get people's input. We welcome anyone to come to our committee meetings as we're kicking this around. We've been talking about this design for some time and it's been pretty well received. There's really, to date, we haven't had many alterations to it from its original concept. But overall, we love the look of the library. They did a really nice job with the library. So aesthetically, you know, we're kind of working off of the library with a new, new council on aging on one wing, Pembroke Rec on the other. So this is about a 40,000 square foot structure. And, and then there's the back grounds, you know, it's a 30 acre site, it's a very large site, it goes all the way back to the herring run, it kind of tapers off as you, as you work your way back. So, you know, some of, we have this, you know, it's great working with the master planners, they get to dream big, but then who's going to pay for it, right? That's, a, that's where we're starting to wrestle with those more difficult questions. This, this is the fun part, you know, designing it, but how are we going to build this? So. You know, we're trying to uh, get creative with the financing. We're certainly well aware of the town situation right now. They've got a lot of big uh, demands for police and fire and DPW. We all know what they're up against there. So, um, you know, the town's wrestling with a lot of big issues. The town infrastructure in general has a lot of aging buildings and really none more than this one here. So, um, this is all still in the very early stages. You know, we're really just kind of getting around and, and um, on the Goodwill tour here, talking with people about it. One big change, and we have to give a lot of credit to our state senator, Vinny DiMasino is here, and Josh Cutler, who helped to, uh, thank you for coming, thanks so much for coming out to support this. It means a lot to us. You know, Pembroke's a little town, and we sometimes feel like we can get passed by the bigger cities and all, but Pembroke has its needs too, and you guys both have been awesome to make your parents known, and you care obviously care about the town, and uh, we're a growing town, you know, we're up to 19,000 people, and it has, has a lot of needs, we have a lot of growing pains, and you know, we have to find our way through this with our growth, and um, to me, you know, this is the heart of the town, and if we could get this thing going and get this off the ground, I think a lot of, you know, rising tide's gonna raise all ships here. I think a lot of good things can come from it. So the big breakthrough most recently with, with Vinny and Josh's help is we've got an economic, I'm not real good on the state politics here, but there was an economic downtown revitalization bond bill that, that Vinny presented and the legislature signed off on this to the tune of $3 million. Bond authorization for three million. So we, still, we still have, we still have, we, 
we still have the work to do to sell this, but we've put a place keeper in place right. that now we have to try to figure out what's the economic the benefit to the downtown here. So we don't have three million dollars then. That's <laughs> <laughs> why I just but but we are <laughs> but we put a bond authorization in so that we now we have to make the case to the administration that this has economic development benefits that will create jobs, will revitalize the downtown areas and, and the like. So that's kind of what first step. it's a first it's a step in the process. If we weren't able to have gotten this in, in a bond authorization, then there really is no mechanism for the administration to help if, if they want to. Okay. So that's the reason behind that. So now, in our efforts for the committee and the town at large is to, you know, get more skin in the game to prove, to show to the state that that $3 million, you know, we have a strong plan in place to warrant securing that $3 million. And that would be commitment from the town and commitment from others and other potential revenue sources that show it's a well thought out plan. And that's what we're working on now and hopefully, you know, by spring, spring meeting and sometime into 2019, we would be able to put forward a really strong argument before the governor for positive signature on the bond bill. Yeah, he's already signed the bond bill to release the monies towards this, provided that the town support. You know, the town has to obviously expend dollars as well as the as well as the state. So, it, and it has to have economic development benefits. So, the goal was, as as I heard from the community, that this is something that's important to the community. And so, what we do is, Josh and I try to find ways. How can we assist the community? And this was a priority, an economic development bond bill was coming through. So the, these are the, what I call vehicles that you're able to show what the, you know, what the town wants to do. And then now we have to go and say, the town's going to, um, you know, obviously you have land that you, you're, you're developing, you're going to have, um, you know, monies that the town's going to go bond out to build this. And that, that could be extra money to be able to make this. So that's kind of. But I think the project hits the key points that the state would be looking for for a downtown revitalization project, in that in, in economic development. So it has to create jobs as well. Right. So there has to be a job creation component as well. And, 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 and Kyle, we need a lot of employees. <laughs> to shake it all down, though, it's really going to change the whole way Pembroke is, like the whole downtown Pembroke is going to change the way it looks. It's like if we walk like this normally, you know, we're going to walk like, like this from now on. It's going to be, there's going to be a little bit of pride happening in, in our downtown area and it's going to totally change the whole, you know, center of Pembroke. It's going to make it more walkable and um, it's just going to make it a better place to live. And um, we think it's really going to be a great, you know, element for the town. So. So along the um, revenue stream side of it, some exciting considerations we're looking at. We've met with a few developers and we're looking at trying to package some of the back property could be used for affordable housing. We think that's a really, there's a strong need for it in the town of Pembroke. Affordable housing, I mean, it's, a, I mean, it's nearly a crisis in the whole South Shore for, you know, Empty nesters are looking for places to go. There's no, there's no reasonable homes in the three to 400 ranges for people that want to downsize. It's just not there. The numbers are they're crazy. Well, let's, let's give Andrew a big, a big round of applause for spending all this time and donating his efforts to think big on behalf of the town of Pembroke. And also as a business person who really could have put his business anywhere, grown it anywhere else, and has decided to stay here because he cares about this community and the, and the time and effort that you've put in to the town of Pembroke and growing your business and creating jobs uh, is just fast, is, is fascinating. We really do appreciate it. And when you look at something like this, this is clearly you're thinking big and you're thinking about what can Pembroke be. And this is something that has to be done in collaboration with the community. The community has to work together and understand is this exactly what they want. Well, we're here, as, as, as far as the state delegation is, we're trying to uh, find a way that we might be able to, uh, to assist. 
And if you can bring your, you know, the community around and try to beautify the, the center of town and do that, you've got the Council on Aging. There are people that, that are concerned and interested in, in having a, a more uh, significant Council on Aging building um, that can get behind this. There are certainly the young families that want a, a greater community center and working together with that. And you bring these coalitions together and understand that certainly none of, nothing is, uh, is inexpensive or free but you're transforming the entire downtown Pembroke. And so to that extent, if we can be helpful, knowing that this is the direction that Pembroke wants to go in, that's when it makes it easier for Josh and myself to be able to then go where we put a placekeeper in a bond bill that where you touched on, which is affordable housing. Affordable housing is a huge component. And so when we're selling this to the uh, uh, Housing and Economic Development Secretary, Economic development is very important, but so is, not in, is housing and affordable housing. So to the extent that we can add that component, that makes it more attractive. And so when you do this all together, it's complicated, but it's attainable, um, provided that everyone is willing to participate. And so, I, I j again, I just want to thank you. I, I don't want to create any false expectations that it's like this is locked down, but it's it's exciting to think about what can happen here in Pembroke. This is an amazing community. It's 19,000 people. That is a big community. It's, it's, it's not like a, you know, there, there are communities in, you know, the three, you know, 400 people, you know, 1,200 people, uh, you know, that are, you know, all these different towns. This is, you know, a town of 19,000 people. That's a big community that has a lot going for it. It's a great economic, uh, you know, development space. We have, you know, I was just, uh, talking to our friend over here from RK, uh, from RK Center, RK Center is there, uh, Louis, and um, and you just see all of the economic development tax base that they have there. That's been a huge engine for this region, and it certainly helped um, the tax base in, in the town of uh, in Pembroke. So, to that extent, thank you all for listening. Thank you again for for, for thinking big and uh, making this community and, and bringing being the catalyst to have a community rally around. A, a big vision like this because I think most of us we all would like to do it how can we do it we need to bring these coalitions together so thank you Andrew again we appreciate your time <laughs> iterations of this uh, it was six years ago I believe when we did the the town town CVS uh, stop and shop we've just thankfully now finished up our, our great uh, new road uh, project through the center of town so this is a perfect next sort of step I, I see in the progression of, of revitalizing the whole center it's our front yard. It's uh, we show off the wonderful side of Pembroke, and uh, you know we're gonna, we're here to do anything we can to help. And so, uh, along with Senator Musito, we're going to do whatever we can to be a, a great partner from the state level. So, thank you. Andrew. Thank you for your support.